award for this 2018. It's over. It's what? God showed me something. And I want even Kathleen and Pastor Joy to hear this. Five Mark 11, 20, 24. Let me read that scripture first. That showed what God showed me. And whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive it, and you shall have it. Is that in the Bible? Yes. And whatsoever things you desire when you pray, do what? Believe that you receive it. And you shall have it. Now let me tell you what as a people we have to learn. Say, say the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. What the just shall live by? Faith. As a matter of fact, let me tell you, give you the word. Richard, we come here tonight for some business. Yes. Philippians chapter 3. We're going to read from verse 13. It says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Now, now the Apostle Paul, he says, forgetting those things which are behind. Look at my sister, forget. Say forget seven twenty seven. Forget my seven. Forget forget it. Forget 2016. Forget it. Yes. Now, now let me show you why it's important to do that. You see, anytime you remember an event, anytime you remember the past, you have to go back in the past to remember it. And let me tell you how your brain is made. Your brain will believe that you are back in the same situation. And however you felt back there, it's going to release everything in your body as if you're back there. So when you remember bad experiences, guess what happens? The brain don't know that you're imagining something. And it's not happening now. So however you felt then, you see, the body has something called adrenaline. It's known as the fight or flight chemical in your, in your body. And it's put there for a purpose. Anytime you are scared or threatened, the natural, natural human reaction is to do a run. Either flee or fight. As a result of that, the body releases extraordinary amounts of adrenaline. You understand? So, like the lady whose husband was under the car, working on the, on the car, and it fell off the jack and fell on him, and she lifted the car up because it's a fight situation. Lifted him up for him to come out, put it down, took him to the hospital. And then when the doctor said, if you didn't lift that car, I know what happened to him. She collapsed. Because then it dawned on her, wait, I just have a car. <laughs> now she had lived through 2,000 pounds. Because adrenaline soups the body up. When you see two people in a fight, adrenaline is high. Somebody get a wound or some serious blow, they don't feel it then. Tomorrow they feel it when the adrenaline work up. Now this, this same adrenaline, which is for that purpose, if, now let's say this thing is for me to flee or fight, but situation happens, my brain thinks I'm in trouble and releases adrenaline. But guess what? I'm sitting right here with it. It results in stress. Because that particular thing, has to, you have to do something with it. 
It'll like, give you drink, energy drink, and sit down, cool it up. You'll have a sleeping problem. When you drink energy drink, it's to, it's to use the energy. You understand? If you're not using the energy, then, and it sends it, the adrenaline, whatever goes to the heart, and then you start having problems. So Paul said, forget those things that are behind, because it makes no sense that you are remembering things which will stress you out. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. But here, here what Paul says. He says, forgetting those things, I press towards the mark of my high calling in Christ Jesus. Now, you can't forget stuff unless you think about something else. Let me tell you something with your mind. Your mind cannot double task. Can, cannot, uh, you, you can't, what do you call it? Uh, multitask. We can't multitask. It's an illusion. Nobody could multitask. See, I could, I could drive and type. It's not true, you know. What happens is you have the ability to move from the driving to the typing quickly. But you can't think of two things at the same time. God can make you like that. So if, you, if you're thinking about what's behind, you will not be looking at what is ahead. So the way to forget what is behind, look to what is ahead. Just when you look at what is ahead. Like God promised us something in this year. This year of the overflow. So what you have to do? Keep my eyes on the overflow. That's why you keep your eyes on the overflow. It will prevent you from looking at what is behind you. Yeah. So what you gotta do is keep your eyes. This is what it says. Keep your eyes. Keep your eyes on the overflow. On the overflow. That's where behind you or in front of you. In front. Somebody say, I'm gonna keep my eyes forward. I'm gonna keep my eyes forward. And the army says, eyes front. You gotta keep your eyes front. Amen. Eyes front. Amen. And refuse to look back. Amen. When folk call you, say, I remember. So say, hey. hey, hey. <laughs> Now let me show you, let me, let me teach you a secret. When you begin to think of what is ahead, the brain don't know that you're just imagining the overflow. And the brain releases substances in your body to handle the overflow. So you can't handle the overflow unless in your mind you move into the overflow. You, 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 do you hear what I'm saying? So you, we have to get, have an overflow mind. That's what you have to have an overflow mind. Have an overflow mind. Now you can't be in a year though and thinking but we didn't get in 2017. Forget it! Thank God you're alive. So much you didn't get it. So thinking but it is not a brain. That's right. Worrying but it's not a brain. So we do so forget what's behind. what's behind. Now God says he pressed. The promises God gives us, you have to press for them. The Bible said from John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered violence, and violent men pressed their way into it. Now you've got to press into the promise of God, because you're natural. Who are you pressing against? You're pressing against your reason, you're pressing against your natural mind, which will say to you, it's going to happen. How you get overflow? You have to press past that fool. Listen. Look at somebody and say, you're pressing the fool, don't listen to it. <laughs> Let me keep in mind what God promised me. Yeah. Because your flesh always tells you, but remember, it's a, it's a, it's a, shut your mouth. God promised me overflow. Yes. Yes. What God promised me? Overflow. 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 Now, God, the only thing God wants is to be believed. You see, people, people don't even know God. The one thing God wants is to be believed. It says why to be believed. To be believed. You see, stupid people, ignorant religious people, think what God is looking for is who behave. And beloved, behavior can only be outside. Outside, right? Church, we behave church, you went in church, <laughs> and when they go home, it's a different person. Anybody don't tell me? Amen. So then you see a real God brother. <laughs> but when they're in church, you put on your church face, yeah. your church home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
See, God knows how many you know we love. How oh, I know? Check some of the people God called. One of the persons in the Hall of Fame is a prostitute near rehab. Amen. If God has got some behavior, how rehab could get this? How rehab could be in the Hall of Fame? Oh God could talk about rehab. Oh God could talk about David. You see, so God is concerned over people believing him. What God wanted is to be believed. Now people don't, they don't care whether they believe God or not. They are concerned with how they behave. God is interested in what you believe. You think I'm, I'm wrong? The Bible says without faith. It is impossible to please him. To do what? Please God. You have to believe God. Go where you believe him. God wants us to believe him. Listen, the Bible says unless we become as little children. I could tell a child, you know what? I remember when I was small, my God, Father promised me this son. And for a long time I believed. Amen. And he would tell me, I said, I used to come home to get on me and what happened to the son? He said, see, you didn't see it last time. I said, yeah, he said, catch it this morning by yourself. <laughs> I was small, I could remember. I wasn't stupid, I was a child. Amen. And the Bible said, unless we become little children, okay. began in the kingdom. Amen. They can't receive because, you see, children believe because you tell them. Guess what they do? They believe you are honorable and we tell them something. Yeah. We have a problem believing that God is honorable. Yeah. See, children no reason. If you tell the child, say, I'm buying a car for you, the child don't think about your bank account. They're not interested in if you have money in the bank. They don't want to know that. They're not interested in that. Hey, we did they deal with your word. Yes. yes. Amen. You said it. You tell me. Amen. They Receive your word as if it's true. They go and tell the friend. Me that friend and tell me. Yes. They even tell the friend I get the car. Because that is healed by it. So when God gives us a word, guess what God wants us to believe in we said. Now watch this. You know what children do? When the wrong father promised them something, they tell everybody. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. You know I get it? <laughs> you know I get it? Who do you tell us? Who do you see? <laughs> true. Very true. What should we do? We say, um, I don't want to talk. <laughs> I am believing God for something, but I don't want to talk about it. You know why we say that? We don't believe in that. Yes. So we don't want to be left on shame bench. Uh -huh. So I'm not going to talk, but then just in case, God has a fine, develop a financial problem. <laughs> you know, so just in case God develop a problem. Because sometimes, or in case God gets sick. <laughs> you understand? So we don't talk about it. It's because we don't believe it. Now, God wants us to move in 2000, and this is how God wants you to operate in 2000, and this is how we will operate as a Amen. people. Yes. When you get a word, a revelation from God, when you got, get a promise from God, you will behave like if you got it. Amen. Yes. Amen. You understand? Amen. And you will talk. This is what Bob said, believe that you receive it. In other words, believe that you already got it. Now, how would you behave if you got it. How come you got it and your face still on the scroll? <laughs> well, I know I'm just going to be more. You believe God? I believe God. Yeah, yeah. I ask you. In other words, you want to say, you know what the hell are you doing? You're sleeping on something. You know what the reason for God, you know? And God said, you just believe you receive it. Our problem is thinking it to be true and we receive it. In 2018, that's how we live. We live by faith. The just shall live by faith. In other words, we're going to believe the thing that we got it before it is actually manifest. Because why? Because God is not a man that you can lie. He said, you can perform it. As a man, he has already performed it. When God promises something, the thing is already there. 
The thing is waiting on you to believe so you can see it. Right. You missed that, right? Yes. The thing is waiting on you because as soon as you believe, your eyes open and you see it. Amen. See, we all get rid of religious foolishness. I'm, I'm not, right now I'm believing in someone. Stop it. That's right. If you ask for the money, you will say, I got some money. Yes. Yeah. Name the amount of money. Yes. Yeah. You believe me for uh, a proper phone? I'm not saying that a phone is not a proper phone, but a smartphone? Get smart and start talking smartphone language that you got the smartphone. What did Joshua do? What? Faith. Let me tell you something. Did I tell you what God just told me? Faith. Gotta be ignorant. <laughs> you gotta drop the R. Ignorant. Not ignorant, ignorant. Let yeah, me see. Anytime you're in faith and you're not downright ignorant, and stay in faith because you're going to hold the joke and try to pull you out of your faith. By coming to use reason and logic. Yes. Well, faith don't work with reason and logic. Faith works simply because you believe God. Three Hebrew boys, they tell them to bow and the fight. The king said, man, the other soul is doubting, no more about it. So now we do that. So they have the furnace. Seven times hotter than it normally is. Now if we say it weren't born before, and now this furnace that hot, now it's time to do a jelly flip. <laughs> Remember I said we not born again. Okay. God said we deliver us, we don't deliver us, we don't kill. No, faith is ignorant. And they were thrown in the fire, and we know the rest of the story. We know the rest of the story. Amen. When they went to the king said, We threw three men in the fire, and we seen four, and the fourth is like the Son of God. Men in the fire, in a furnace, not burned. How can you explain that? How can you explain just walking in the water? And Peter joining him. Faith has to be ignorant. Yes. Listen, you have to see the end. Do you have to see the end of 2018? Yeah. Already jump, already jump in 2019. Yeah. You understand what I'm Let me teach you a secret. Let me teach you a secret. If you're gonna be in the flow. You see those friends and family you have who are not walking the overflow? Send them a text, tell them how they <laughs> go to the post office, send them a friend. Don't go, don't go by them. Go to the post office and little thing. Let us smack and say, oh man, Jack, you really nice. So don't, don't go, don't go, don't go. You don't want to go by them. But they will tell you about the old days. You don't want to remember them all day. They'll tell you about the hard times. Remember them times. I've been there, you know. God said, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Because as long as you're thinking about what is behind, you can't think of what is ahead. Amen. And let me tell you something. Your tomorrow is greater than yesterday. So keep your eyes on tomorrow. Say that tomorrow can't compare with the video yesterday. Because they can't compare with tomorrow. Yes, they can't compare with tomorrow. So forget about yesterday. Forget about yesterday. And press towards the mark we high God in Christ Jesus. So when you keep focused in your mind, it's overflow. Overflow. Write it up all in your house. Overflow. Every place. Overflow. 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 You wake up in the morning. When somebody calls, it's overflowing. Overflow. 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 Oh, you're doing overflowing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. How are you doing? 
I'm overflowing, I'm overflowing, I'm overflowing. <laughs> because, let me tell you something. The difference between rich people and poor people is just how they think. You see, wealth has a frequency. Poverty has a frequency. Poor people stay on the poor frequency. They always talk about sugar is, flower is. They know what the budget is. What can happen in the budget? Uh, that's poor people think about. It. Rich people don't care three francs with no budget or flower. They don't care anything about you. Rich people don't know what the gallon for gas. They're not interested. They don't care. What they just don't care. They go to gas. They fill her up. As soon as you start knowing price for gas, you poor. Unless you're selling gas. Because <laughs> <laughs> you go on company, you know price. You know, our company don't need to know price. Eh? So people come out and say, you hear sugar race, say, excuse me, excuse me. Talk to them. <laughs> what will you get? Excuse me, I don't care on this conversation. Have you heard of my overflow? You heard of God tell me? Did you see the news? Listen to me. You know how many good things happen in the world? You do this reporting? No, good things don't make news. You don't make news? You know how many testimonies people got? You think anybody ever, any new sports people got to sports and say, this testimony that you got a baby, is it true that you really had a baby? You got a baby, they're interested in that. They don't make news. No one wants to listen to that. So, guess what? You have to say to yourself, I don't want to hear it. Positive. Some people, right now, you, you feel right. How you want to listen to the news? What happens after you listen to the news? You're sad and depressed. It depresses you, right? Yes. It depresses you. Why do you want to be depressed? Go to the good news and see what God promises you. Let me see what you may hear what God promises this morning. Oh, <laughs> good news. Good news. Remember you call this, you say good news only. Good news only. Good news. You might come tell him no food. She said, excuse me, good news only, good news only. <laughs> I wonder if you could have put up the thing, you know it calls for the phone, you can hear something. It's not me in America, I ain't doing that me here. But you can call and they have a greeting. Before the before before the, the, when it's not ringing, they bring when we will hear is that meeting they give you. But their phone is ringing. It's a feature. You know what you know about the feature? You call and wherever you put, wherever yes, you put there, they will hear that. It could be a song or whatever. You understand? Okay. But if they have it, you put it on your phone, you'll call and listen. Like an answering, like a response. It's a tone. Yes, they're not hearing it right. They hear it. So you say, good news only, good news only, good news only. <laughs> if they hit a chick up, good news, they put it on the phone. <laughs> only good news, only good news. They don't have good news, they shut it down, put it down. Because all you want to hear is good news. You want to keep your mind. This morning, you have to keep your mind. Keep your mind. On wisdom ahead. You see, God, I like to tell you what his book has ahead. God said, I have a plan for you, which is to prosper Amen. you and to give you an expected end. Keep your mind on the prosperity that God has for you. All God has for you is good things, you know. Amen. You turn around and you hear some minister preaching about going ahead and turn it off. Good news. Amen. He said you will forever be with him. Yes. You believe in Christ that you said you believe Christ that you shall live. That's End the story. Why you listen to that foolishness? Who won't go to hell? Don't listen to that junk. Amen. Right now you're supposed to. In 2018, one material one thing you need to do. Delete some idiots. Uh-huh. You know the black people go to the thing, the thing man block, block them. No jump mail, as you see. As you see. Stop. Stop. 
Some, some people, somebody with some story in America, somebody said the thing, he said, must forward this piece of What's wrong with foolish people? <laughs> what they need to forward? <laughs> Everybody know what they say. What? <laughs> I want everybody not to use that to them. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. What one? Let me ask you a question. Why does it interest you? Uh -huh. You know what it is in the news? Let me see what it is this to do. Stock market. Stock market. This is what it is. <laughs> They don't have no time. They don't have no time in the day, as you know. Yes. Only time they got a problem is if somebody doing something that affecting their business. Yes. They have no time. They're not interested. We have time to listen. Chat after the news. People listen to the news still and they don't listen to the death news. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you're looking for? Your name. <laughs> your name and your face. <laughs> this will be you. You're just important. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm glad I didn't know him. You're going to feel really depressed. <laughs> feel really depressed. Hmm? <laughs> press towards the Mahabi High Court. Now, let me tell you something. You have to press. You have to, listen, you have to press against public opinion. Amen. Let me ask you a question. You think people want you to prosper? No. It's only God who wants you to prosper. People don't want you to prosper. Guess why they don't want you to prosper? Where are you going? Where are you going to leave? You know? <laughs> <laughs> so what happened now? No, you got a car, me, you can't like, no. <laughs> Not because you don't have a car, because you don't have the mentality of a car. You don't even want to give anybody drop, a drop in your car. Who don't have car mentality? You know what I'm saying? Why are you doing that? No, you, you go and see somebody, you give me a right, a different tool. I'm telling you, but you don't want friends hanging out with you. Who not even thinking of getting a car? Why you want them with you? You know what they be doing? Eating gum. Got pulling your thing in your car, tearing out these. <laughs> look, this thing, look, this thing is steel. <laughs> look at this one, it ain't dead. You did it, you did it to protect anything. So those people are going to say, hey, excuse me. And you don't see them because you're driving. Say, man, you're not driving, my windows up. Put your windows up. She passed me straight up, they didn't see you. See, man. No, you know you got to keep your head in the room. Keep your head in the room. <laughs> you see? Says, so money, look ahead. Look ahead. So keep focused. Keep focused. The only reason man you feel is broken focus. You break your focus. Keep focus. What? On the. Mark of high call after press after press against public opinion. The public don't want to prosper. Especially church. Church teaches to be poor. It's Christianity teaches to be poor. So as soon as you talk prosperity, then these jokers will start telling you, this is the money church. Yes, the money church. Amen. So you go to the money church, say yes, yes. Money church. yes. Where you want to go? <laughs> I go in the money church. Amen. You're going to carry all the money here. What else? See, people are stupid. And so they don't want you to prosper. Because when you prosper, they can't control you. 
A poor man's voice is not heard. That's right. Amen. So when you're broke, they could talk any you to you. Or you got some real money. They can't talk any you to you. So they want you to prosper. See, the system set by the devil in the world is this. Is that only a certain elite group should prosper. The rest should be peasants. God's plan is for everybody to prosper. Amen. Amen. So they don't want you to hear this. They don't want you to say, you know, everybody can't reach. Why? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not smart enough in this world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. So you have to, you have to get past that poverty mentality. We got a poverty mentality telling you, say, you know, it's only money, 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 money. You know, people are so stupid. Listen, people get up in the morning, not because they want to get up. <laughs> Because they have to go to work. Yes. And they're going to work for? Money. Money. Some women are with some men that they don't like. <laughs> but it says a crap with pigs. <laughs> <laughs> I really like you. I can't even make my face always my face. I know what I, I dare you. You can't make your face like that. And he make up his face with this. And if you see this pretty young lady, but Because let me teach you something. 
If somebody tell you a terrible story, your body reacts, your brain, your brain, your favorite one from me, your brain will operate as if the thing happened to you. It's called sympathetic response. Your brain will operate like the thing is happening to you and the thing is not happening to you. So why are you going to look at things that will upset you? To make your brain respond like if they're happening to you. You want to listen to something that will uplift you. Let my brain respond as if I'm the millionaire. Yes. So let me make up and look at the jet I have on the wall. Amen. And the Rolls Royce Phantom. Or Rolls Royce Bose, watch it. Amen. And then imagine a minute. Yes. Let me raise the wake up and see. My golf, old golf setter, and my bowling alley in the house. We will see it. And get excited. Bowl a few rounds. Now, why want to leave that with somebody coming and garbage? Let me imagine that one gun gone to $2,000. This is why I want to listen to me. This one where come and tell me. Um, you hear about my parliament that you want to know? <laughs> God said, hey, bring your force through. Give me the force through. In other words, when you plant your farm, the force that the thing you reap also bring it to give me. But God, God said, you do it, you do it, tell me. You see, when you do that, beloved, you're making a connection. And you're saying to God, I trust you, I trust your system. I trust God's system. I trust God's system. God is not a man, he can't lie. You say, your barn shall be filled with plenty, yes. and your vat shall overflow. That's right. It's a system God has. No, we can't talk so we walk in faith and we say, but no, I can't do this. You have to do it. I dare you honor God because you're, you're thinking of flow. You see, the joker who don't know better, he's worried. If you give the most, you think you see, did the church ask about giving, giving, giving? Excuse me. You know who, who, our God is what? He's the God of the Jews. Our Savior is a Jew. The Jewish Bible, there's no, there no book in the world that talks about giving like that Bible. You know how many offerings they have in the Bible? What was about 40 different offerings. Well, you don't know, right? The amount of offerings, you go to Leviticus and read how many offerings they had. And guess what? The Jews were still the wealthiest people. In spite of all the giving, this God is so concerned that you must know that it's He that prospers you. Let me call it and tell you something. What this does, it puts you on the wavelength. What's the wavelength? Wavelength. Or frequency. Frequency. These things put you on the web frequency. Let me tell you what giving does. Giving puts you on a wealth frequency. Only rich people give, poor people beg. Poor be since you're coming looking at your shoes. <laughs> Somebody come from America they're watching the show. Must have to shoot me. You understand? This is what you do, poor people do. Rich people, so besides you wear it. Yes. I like have the spirit shoes. And they're not rich, they're in America. In America, you got pretty rich. <laughs> because they take the shoe, buy the shoe, the credit card, and come home, you know. They ain't got the shoe all the time. Trust me, they don't have that shoe all the time. And that clothes is still coming. They don't have it all the time. They look all together, um, income tax returns, and they're going to buy some stuff. But poor people always do. They come at your house. 
ah, do you use this? I could think it. <laughs> no, let me tell you something. You don't even notice that that's the frequency. That's the poverty frequency. Get off the frequency. Amen. So you can't expect to be rich when it is all, all you're thinking all the time. You won't prosper, you have to get out of the get out of the frequency. And, off of that. and you want to go on the frequency where you're thinking giving. Blessed to give. God says more blessed to give than receive. Right. So uh, I'm on the frequency I'm thinking about giving. Yeah. I'm thinking about oh, put a smile on your face. How about I make somebody smile? Because I'm on the giving frequency. And that's what God did with Jews. He put on a frequency with the giving. And those were the frequency. I got a revelation of this thing. Giving puts you on a wavelength, on the frequency where the wealth is. I know I've been there. I've been any minister coming to come to me. I ask them to have gold microphone, gold business, all the other kind of thing I beg you for. I beg you for everything. And God says, stop it, don't beg people anything. When people come to minister, I, I, I hope in the they bring some money when they come. And vets they don't bring. I, I, I have no, I, I have no regard for the word the boss yes, bringing, yes, yes. which will change my life. You understand? And then God says, stop it. When people come to minister, you honor them. So when the minister start, when they start coming to me, I honor them and give them honor. I put them in a hotel, a nice hotel, and I honor them. Put a big smile on their face. And when I started to do that, God started to change my life. Praise God. Amen. You want to change your life? Move to the next level. 2018 is your overflow. Amen. So what you start doing? You start walking at you in the overflow. Yeah. Walk in the overflow, you know, I need money, you say. Time to give. Some people could feel, they know it's $100 and $1,000. They have to look, they could feel it. This is a great joke. I, <laughs> I guarantee you, when you do feel money, you know the money. Some people they don't have the touch yet because they don't have this you know this. They blow the twenty dollars. Now listen. You see. All this is to keep you on the frequency. Look at someone who says, stay on the frequency. When you start doing this, you're getting off the frequency. I want you to remind yourself, you need to say, what are you doing? Stay on the frequency. When you start thinking, this money has to carry me through the day, you'll be off the frequency. I want you to stay on the wealth frequency. Amen. On the overflow frequency. What is the frequency? So you got to honor the Lord, which is substance, and the first through all increase. What is the first through? I dare you take your first salary for 2018 and say, I'm going to honor the Lord with it. But how you live, suppose you get knocked off. Suppose they knock you off, how you live? <laughs> Suppose they drop down and die. Suppose the company shut down, how will you live? So your God has to provide. Woo! <laughs> God has to make a way. Excellent. And God, is God said, honor him with your substance and the forest fruit. God said, bring your forest fruit, honor him with it. But I, 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 I can't do it because I have, I have bills. You see, when you honor God and say, God, because you said I honor you, guess what? You, you, you find what kind of frequency? There's a money frequency and a poor frequency, trust me. You say, the rich get richer, rich, rich people get more money because they're on a frequency. That's why that child that grows in a rich home. They don't have half your academic ability. Most of them, the dancers ever. <laughs> and they're not paying any interest in, 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 in school. But yet, after you left school, you see them cars and some BMW, some Mercedes, when you walk in, going to work. 
they got some business running, they're working with them. Why? Because they're in a wealth frequency. And it's a poverty frequency. God taught, give me the task to help to get you off the poor frequency and get you on the wealth frequency. Amen. Beloved, it don't, care, it don't matter what you're doing. I don't care what you're doing. You could be a char woman if you get in a wealth frequency, you will still be wealthy. Amen. Praise God. Poverty or, or lack is based on the frequency you're on. And you have to tell some people, say, excuse me, don't change me, don't try to change me. When people come around, you're talking for poor dogs, excuse me, sir, sir. Stop. Why? I am preserving my frequency. I don't want any frequency, drop your frequency. You understand? Yeah. You come tell you about food is actually self so, so this is to keep you on the wealth frequency. When you give thanks in advance, you are staying on the frequency of the overflow. That's what God wants you to stay on that frequency. Are you hearing me? Amen. I prophesied this year that you would make money friends. Wealthy friends. Let me show you something. Have you ever discovered that when you start to think a certain way, some people just keep out your life? Some of them guys use a line with a dog, foolish with a dog. You, because you're busy, you got business. But say, hey, we can have a thing, you get them $100 and go away. He said, hey, my boy. I'll give them a five. Say, y'all, part it up between y'all. Take them. Give them five hundred dollars. Y'all part it up. And the tear don't want to And you keep getting up. You understand? You understand? Because they, they're stuck on that frequency. It has nothing to do with your color. It has nothing to do with your education. It has to do with what frequency you're on. You can have masters and doctorate if you're on a poverty frequency, you'll still be broke. You get to the wealth frequency, you'll, you'll prosper. And this will be, they'll be working on this year. Amen. What is it called? Frequency and management. Yeah. That's my job is to help manage your frequency. You hear anybody calling and telling him, say, excuse me, what frequency are you are right now? <laughs> say, God, I have the flow frequency, right? Please, please. I have it up, call me back. Get to that frequency, then call me. Call me, give me your cry and sing the blues to me. Excuse me, please call me back. Hang up and call me again. If they don't start with overflow, say, okay, talk to me now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you hear sugar in this. So, well, get off my frequency. Amen. Amen. You can walk in overflow and walk to see. Uh -huh. <laughs> they got to see. Yeah. Overflow. People stink you rich. Yeah. Nobody must think you're poor, man. Why do you think you're poor? So don't be scared, don't be scared that you say, I want people to know you, was it? What would you mean, people scared, they want people to know? If you have a wedding and you don't want people to come, pull it in the morning. <laughs> poor people come, but you can't dress up for more playtime. <laughs> And like, bad, they're not going to die time. They're not cost of the dressing nights. So, you have a morning wedding, they're not coming. Because they, they can't be here putting on clothes. They can't put on a suit and walk in the day. Or put on a nice dress and walk in the day. They break your ass over the boy. <laughs> night time, they're pouring in because they can handle the night, can handle the day. You follow? Amen. Now you have to get out of the mentality. 
So I don't like dress up. So what you will, what you will do if you prosper? Listen to me. Our ancestors, I've been to Africa, people of color, like dress up. They go to India, they dress up. That's right. They go to China and they know in the Africa, the garden. Or you go in, in the interior, she's a really new family there. All of them. <laughs> they got feather, different color feather up and they dress up. Yes. This is where you call them dress up and what white beauty foods. <laughs> My beauty, the day them came. Government appears, kidney. Light up with fire. Don't tell me to dress up with this. You see the color God gave you? The color is to wear gold and diamond. All right. Yes. They put it on, you can't see it. You don't need to put on them. That's why God gave us some color. We are people of color. You understand? You have to overflow. And you know what overflow means? It means you're flowing over another people. Amen. All right then. Others can come and get a little drink at you. That's right. Yeah. You follow? Yes. Yeah, man. You look frank. Don't be scared to overflow. Don't be scared. Top 10 cars, so what? Amen. Overflow. I don't mind anybody coming towards them. Huh? They got plenty shoes in the morning. <laughs> Oh, I had a poverty man, this is a little white boy, put me to my place in Florida. I wanted some water. And the little boy, the, 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 we were the hotel, the three and I, and I come get the little room on things and water. I said, man, it's too much. The little boy said, sir, it's never too much. I said, thank you, man. Did it poverty man die? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Sir, it's never too much. I said, thank you. Never forget that. It's too much. Again, it's too much. Poverty mentality. Oh, too much. What's too much? God give you rich to all things to enjoy. So is it to enjoy? To enjoy. It's to have a <laughs> So prosper, and we talk about prospering here now. Yeah, amen. 
We don't sing that I'd rather have Jesus in silver and gold. We have Jesus and the silver and gold. Amen. You say amen. Amen. Why want to have silver and gold? You understand? Because we say a nice party. No, we party too. We party. You can go party. You want party, and you come and hear the word, but you can change your life. Amen. Amen. So you can come to the promises of God. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord cause His face to shine on you. The Lord lift up the light of His countenance on you. Be gracious unto you and give you of His peace. Let me tell you what our services. We have two services on Sunday morning. One at seven, and that's our school of wisdom where we teach and we'll be embarking on a new teaching now. We'll be talking about the wealth frequent frequency. All right? Wealth frequency is something brand new. You never hear it. You need to come. Wealth frequency. And you know to stay on the wealth frequency. The second service is at 10 o'clock, and that's our miracle service. And if you need a miracle, that's our service. Wednesday night, we'll be teaching again. We'll have our school of wisdom, wisdom continuing on the world frequency. And Friday night, again, we have our miracle service. So that's what we have made for our services. Amen? Amen. You are, listen to me. You're welcome. And if you're broke, I'd like you to come. Amen. You see, when you come broke, you can't set take money for you because you're broke. You don't have no money. So come broke. And then I like, get the money to you. And then you can give some good money. Amen. If you come broke, you can't say the money robber. You came broke. But you will not stay broke. Amen. Because your mind is going to change. Amen? Amen. Greet somebody. Make a new friend. And remember, what's the word? Oh. What's the word? Oh.